Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Kaufman, and um, I am the head student ambassador at the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico San Germán campus. Today, I will be showing you how to access the interview simulation tool that you can find through HEX. We are going to open up a web browser as soon as we can. And uh, we're going to go into the link hets.org. Once here, we're going to press on the virtual plaza. And we need to find the student support tab. This, the virtual plaza is very interesting. This is where you're going to find most of HETS tools, um, completely free. So uh, definitely try to access it as soon as possible. So student support, we're going to press more. Since a career is the next step uh, after you're a student, then you need to go to career transitions because that's what you're doing. You're transitioning into a career. And here, uh, we're not only going, we don't only have the interview simulation tool. We also have many other tools and tutorials for you to be able to access them. If you have any questions, um, on, on how to, or what different tools HETS has. So um, we're going to scroll down to our university. In this case, I'm, a, I'm from the Inter-American University, so I'm gonna press enter. If I press any other university, my access code will not work. Before the screen that you are seeing now, you, um, you will have to fill in a um, passcode. And um, if you do not have that passcode, you can enter, you can send an email to info at hets.org or uh, call or text 787-616-3201 um, so that you're able to uh, obtain this passcode from one of our uh, really readily available uh, HETS staff members. Okay, here in the test, uh, here in um, the databases, we're going to go to career transition. And here we have four different tools, very, very useful tools. We're going to press on the last one, which is the interview simulation tool. That's what we're looking for. This tool is very, very interesting. This tool, um, the, the simulation talks to you. It's, it's pretty, it's interactive. It's very interesting. I'm going to turn off the volume for now. And it's not only an interview simulation, it also helps you organize yourself for your interview. If you get that job that you've been looking for, you need to prepare for it. You don't just show up. Uh, in this case, I'm going to press have a little work experience. And this is what you should have when you go to that interview. You need to know what company you're applying to. In this case, the hypothetical company is Infinity Tech, the organization info, a little bit about them. Then you need to know about what you're applying to, the job opening. It would, be, it would be pretty funny if you go to a job opening without knowing what you applied to. You need to study what you're going for. Then your profile. Believe it or not, you need to know your profile from beginning to end. If they ask you a specific date, what, uh, what job did you have during this year? Um, you need to know that for, during your interview, right? So these are the three things you should have at hand when you go to your interview. Let's start. And let's bring up the volume because uh, Susan Baldwin is going to help us. Hi, I'm Susan Baldwin, Human Resources Specialist with Infinity Tech Incorporated. It's nice to meet you. If you're ready, let's go. Susan's gonna. Your academic achievements, as well as your volunteer and work hour. experiences, are quite impressive. So tell me, what? So Susan is our simulation. As it's very cool because she talks to us, right? She asks us these questions almost as if you were at the interview, and you need to choose the answer that is uh, um, closest to what she's talking about. Right? I'm going to press a couple of them. See? She keeps talking. I muted it so that we're able to uh, get, uh, go through the interview simulation. And the goal of this interview simulation is for us 
to uh, reach a second interview. Um, she shows a lot of body language so that you know that you're giving the right or the wrong answer. And that allows us to modify ourselves. In this case, we did not pass this to the second interview, but the goal is to get to that second interview. A really good thing about this is that you can then see your feedback. So you can uh, work on your interview uh, process. And um, if you have any questions or doubts on how to, or how, or on how to use this tool or any other tools, um, you can send an email to info at heads.org or send a text or call 787-616-3201. And um, we, we are, uh, the head, our head staff members are uh, available to help you. Thank you and have a great day.